When working in SOLIDWORKS, you can have all the functionality of InnoCello at your fingertips. Using the InnoCello SOLIDWORKS integration, you can perform a number of tasks that would normally need to be performed in the InnoCello client. These include navigating the vault, searching for documents, and changing document properties. When you open a SOLIDWORKS document that resides in an InnoCello vault, you will see an extra tab on the left-hand side of the SOLIDWORKS interface. Similar to the InnoCello client, you can select different navigation views, work areas, or even different vaults. Starting from the top, you will see a refresh button. Pressing this button will update the currently selected navigation view and ensure you are looking at the latest information. Just below the refresh button is the vault selection button. Pressing this button will show a new dialog that allows you to select a different vault. Next is the navigation view selection button. If you press this button, a drop-down menu is shown with all the available navigation views. Below the navigation view selection button is the work area selection button. Pressing it will bring a new dialog forward, allowing you to select any work areas that have been defined for the currently open vault. Just under the Work Area Selection button is a search bar. This feature is very similar to the Quick Search function found in the InnoCello client itself. We will be looking into this feature in more detail in just a moment. The last section of the SOLIDWORKS integration is the Explorer view. This is basically a representation of the Explorer view that is available in the InnoCello client. Of course, if you change the navigation view, this view will also update to represent the selected navigation view. If you have an assembly document open, you can of course drag and drop new parts into the assembly from the Explorer view. Searching the vault from within the SOLIDWORKS integration is possible using the search bar. The search bar is basically the same as the quick find found in the InnoCello client. You first have to define what type of search you would like to perform. In this case, we will be searching on all text properties. Next, you must define the condition of the search. You can select from equals, contains, starts with, or contains multiple words. For this search, we will use contains. Finally, you must enter the search string you would like to use as we are doing here. When you press either Enter or the green arrow to start the search, any results will be shown in the Explorer view. You can of course return to the Explorer view to see the entire vault once more, and notice that the selected document is given focus. Any document that resides in the vault can also be manipulated from the SOLIDWORKS integration. If you select a document and open the context menu, you can see a list of commands that are available to you. The context menu is split up into seven different sections. In the first section, you can see commands that are used to control the workflow of a document and also to open the document in a new window. The workflow menu is the same as is shown in the InnoCello client allowing you to move a document to the appropriate state. The second section of the context menu contains a command to issue a new file name according to the naming convention that is defined for your vault. The next section allows you to view either the document in a viewer window or the revisions of the document. The fourth section gives you the option to adjust the document with regards to work areas. You can, for instance, assign a document to a work area or release it from a work area. Next up is the delete command, followed by the add to collection command. In the sixth section, you can access a command to view the reference structure of the document you have selected. The final section of the context menu contains the properties command. Using this command will show the default InnoCello properties dialog. You can view and edit the properties directly from this dialog. 
This has been an overview of the InnoCello SolidWorks integration. You can review the functionality shown in this video in the InnoCello user guide. Thanks for watching.